Well, hello there, YouTube. Wow. Welcome to a 29 degree, <laughs> what are we, Wednesday the 13th? Man, I thought it was going to be just a solid wall of fog when we got up this morning. It was so thick last night. I don't know what caused it to burn off this morning, but it looks absolutely wonderful out here. I think it's like 31, 32, somewhere around there by now. Look at that. I think she's going to be a beautiful day once the little high layer flog, flog, fog goes away. A daggum Leo, he somehow another disconnected his leash thing there and was out all night long. It was about, Kelly says it was about six o'clock or so this morning she was making dog food and he uh, barked at the front door. He finally came back. Food trumped freedom. <laughs> crazy mutt and he just ignored us he was hiding out there somewhere and just wow he just stays silent he's hiding in the woods just staring at us watching us look for him goofy mutt all right let's start off a hump day man it is flat cool out here this morning but is it is it beautiful i love that fog laying around you can't even see them power line oh you can barely see them just to the left of the certified scales thing there you can see the top of them that's cool i love a brisk morning it always reminds me of when i was a kid we'd always take off early in the morning I, even well into my 30s going dirt bike riding we'd all load up head out in the woods get out there in the crack of oh dark and usually up in the mountains so you're up in the fog and you're cold and it's miserable and you take off riding just that fresh, fresh air. The day just, you know, the morning becomes day and it's just a, just a wonderful thing. Got to experience it to know what I'm talking about. <laughs> it had my mind thinking about it so much I couldn't talk. Good times. Shockingly, it's 49 degrees. And the world, yeah. Start off that cold and get this and warm. drive right down the road I know. and like go into another world. I voted for this at the house. It's literally like cold. another world here in Vancouver compared to the nice, quiet country folk, small town living of home. <laughs> yeah, I like home a yeah, lot. Me too. Very comfortable. Mm -hmm. Free roaming Siberian huskies and. <laughs> I know, a little psycho. When mom was in there doing the food, that got his attention all of a sudden. Oh, yeah. He's at the front door. I don't know where he was, but he heard them little bulls. <laughs> Holy crap, breakfast. Take them food obsessed dog. Oh, he is very food obsessed. Oh, man. Always has been. Mm -hmm. Well, mama, it's hump day. Yes. Let's go bounce and do it. All right. All right. Have a wonderful day. You too. All right. Love you. See you. Bye. I love you. <laughs> bye bye now. Bye. There's Mold Demo with the steering sim getting replaced. It goes down in that hole there. There's the DPS down there. So, any of you guys that think, you know, riding in the rain and stuff doesn't, doesn't do damage to your motorcycles, it doesn't hurt anything. I always watch it when I'm done. Look at all this. This is that very expensive TFT display. That's nasty beyond belief. But there's a new steering stem. It's two pieces. It's one piece that's in the, the upper housing, then the one that goes down to the DPS that I was pointing down. The old, well, it's over there. She's bent. Not by a whole bunch, but enough that she wasn't going to go straight. But that's what we're doing here for the moment. Digging the old out. Put the new in. Then I got to do the alignment when I'm done as well. Yeah. You take the bodywork off of there. And you see what rain riding does. Nasty. Holy moly nasty. Starting to resemble a spider once again. New stems in. I want you to look at something. 
just with the stem. Of course, nothing's been aligned. Look how much straighter it sits. That wheel was like, Phew. But anyway, we'll get her off here and get her aligned. And I got another collision repair that Cable did that needs an alignment tomorrow too. So I need to get this thing finished up and do two alignments. I'll get the alignments done tomorrow when I'm fresh. See if I can break my back right away <laughs> off the get go. So, yeah. It's not that bad of a job, it's just kind of time consuming. But it's all good, it's work. The old demo's gonna be back on the road again. Of course, with the weather out there, it's probably just gonna go home and wait until a nice day comes out, which today would have been one. It's actually really nice out there. Alrighty. Cool beans. So I'm gonna splash up a little picture. I may even use that picture as a thumbnail, so if not, check a look at this. Yeah, buddy. That is my actual motorcycle. And Joey rolled it out there and took a picture of it for me. <laughs> oh man, I'm excited. Is it weekend yet? So about that, that's exciting to get the picture of the actual bike. And uh, that kind of missed the tech. My iPhone 12 mini's acting up weird here lately. I don't get uh, notifications and stuff. <laughs> I mean, they're coming through, but I get no sound. I need a, I must have something muted or something somewhere. So we stopped and got some dog food and stuff at Tractor Supply. And... We got this thing. We got it for a smoking deal. It was sitting outside. We were actually asking for they had one that was come on, buddy. Asking if they had one in a box, you know, because how we're we gonna carry this thing in the Acura, you know. They go, no, that's the only one you got. He goes, well, we can unlock it. I said, well, that one's full of rust. So I got a smoking deal on it. It's been sitting out there. You can see all the rust on it. It's all soaked. I took it outside and soaked it down with WD-40. It was a thousand pound cart. We've been looking for one of these anyway. And the, you, you can break the thing down so it's just a, a flatbed as well. Which I'll probably literally just bolt this thing down solid and, and never use it. As a, I think it's designed so you can, well, you can, you can flip these things up and take one side off and dump it. And um, but it has to be the sides, because if you take one of these off the back, then they flounder around. I mean, I guess you could, but it comes apart. Anyway, you're probably wondering what all's in there. That right there is a decat from Hitchcock's. That showed up today. The scan tool. And it's got, uh, you know, the adapter, so it's it fits uh, the GT and the two Himalayans. And I'm pretty sure the 23, the classic um, 350, um, is a um, EU5. And has the, it comes with the adapter for um, EU5. Because this is the plug that, you know, the 650 and the, and the Himalayans have. And then uh, it needs to convert to the six pin. And this is a six pin because uh, I've got a whole bunch of readers. And this is a six pin, which is EU5, um, that'll just use a regular scan tool. But I just got the one from Hitchcock's because by default, it has the end for doing these three Royal Enfields. And this is a, I tried to find the shortest one I could find. The shortest I could find was three feet. So sometimes your your heated gear, which I, I told you on that ride yesterday that I got another one of these adapters because I can't figure out what the one is that I had. It goes from an SAE, a tender lead, um, to a heated vest or heated gear connector. So you just, you know, you just reach down. It would work great on the Himalayan because the vest has enough length. It'll fit this. I don't know where they have it on the 
on the 350 because they don't come with it. The Harley shops put them on. And um, I don't know if their sister store does. I know that Northwest always has them. And um, anyway, I don't know if it's long enough. So I wanted, I wanted that for the GSA. So I got the cord. Well, the cord's too short. I mean, it's really short. And um, but I didn't. I underestimated how long it comes out of the vest. It kind of zips up in a pocket in a corner. And um, so it would probably be fine, but I'll throw that in a, one of those in my backpack. I don't know how what the tip. If I get there early enough, it's going to be a cold ride. It's just nice to have that vest. I'll bring one of my phone uh, uh, ram mounts to stick on the on the handlebar, and we'll roll with it. But uh, there's a charger for the 350, and I got some of the Motion Pro cable lube stuff with red line synthetic in it. So I have uh, the DNA filter and the uh, control, the, what is it called, ProSonic or something like that. Um, I don't know when that's, it shows it's in Athens, Greece right now. No, that's the filter is in Athens, Greece. The uh, controller should be here tomorrow. So I have some stuff to, to uh, you know, make them run the way they should run. I understand we got to keep it clean out here, but my personal bikes, I want them to run like they're supposed to. But anyways, like I said, uh, last night we're going to do a mail call and uh, show a couple of things that some of you kind, kind viewers sent us. So we're going to jump into that right about now. No, the wagon's not going to stay in here. It's just in here to get nice and dry and, and soak in some and some anti-rusting. <laughs> All right. Oh, these are my climb gloves. They're snowmobile gloves. I told you about yesterday. Well, hello there, YouTube. Man, not as cold, but still got a bite to it out here tonight. Mm -hmm. It's like, what was it, like 31 or something last night? I think yeah. it's 37 out here tonight. Not quite freezing. So we told you guys last night, we do a, a little mail call. So Terry, if you remember, you know, he's, he sent me the first two thumb wheels, you know, for the RC car controllers. And then, um, I was mentioning that, <laughs> that, uh, um, I couldn't find one or something. So he sent me two more. So one of those is gone. I can't find that thing. He stashed it yeah. somewhere. Cause he goes, it's gotta be lot me luck. So she's looking, I can't. I just simply took it off to put it on another car and don't know what I done. So Terry <laughs> Bless his heart. Bless his heart. Can. He sent me a bag full. There's ten of them. And look oh, at the cool. this one right here with the pink. That's very that's gonna go on like Kelly's truck or one of her cars. It's a cool pink and it has like a honeycomb like texture inside of it. Yes, right. Cool. I just kind of threw you out of the picture there, That's didn't all I? Right. <laughs> Thanks, Terry. I yes. uh, even if I lose another one, I was, <laughs> I'll have spares to go back. Mm -hmm. That's way cool. And remember, he did the what's that thing called? Diamond painting. Diamond painting. I'll never get that remembered. So, check this one out. Look at this, guys. That's. Is that not amazing? What a sweet man. It had to have taken hours and There's hours like and hours. There's like nine trillion beads in that. Isn't that just beautiful? That's wild. That is so cool. I Kelly goes, well, love it. She goes, why are you going to hang it up? She goes, where'd you hang the, the, uh, the iron? I said, whoa, it's still sitting right there. Because we haven't decided to decide where to put yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah, you just hang them somewhere so they're. I know, so I can see them. Yeah. So say it's still the other one's still wrapped in the in the package, so it's not even in, in no good dust. view. Yeah. Yeah, no dust, but not getting any views either. I know. We gotta put find a good yeah. spot. I think out in the shop somewhere would be good. Yeah. There's not so much dust. Yeah. The dogs don't go there, so there's. But no then dust. you know, hey, I think it's cool that you can be close enough to it. That you can realize that it's, what it's made out of. Yeah. Yeah. It's wild. 
That is really, really cool. Yeah. So, so I think I told you that showed up Friday, mm-hmm. and we're all wrapped up in the uh, Classic 350 on Friday. We were going to go to the post office before we went up to Lacey. Thought, wow, I don't want to leave what because I had no idea what it, what it was. Don't want to leave it in the car while it's sitting out in the parking lot. So we're going to get on the way home. Well, we were all thinking, like, dang, we just bought another motorcycle. Drove right past the post office and went home, you know. So when Kelly went Monday for a doctor's appointment, she went and got this stuff. So thank you very much, Terry. Yes. And then yesterday, um, I come walking through the door, and the shipping receiving gal goes, you got a package over there. She goes, it's sitting on my counter, on her this big, huge counter where she does all her checking in stuff. So uh, um, uh, Terry from California and Donnie from Texas – Yes. Sent this and uh, it's crazy. So cool. I'm like, man, what in the world's in here? It took me forever to figure out how to get that box open. Well, <laughs> it, it was, was for good reason. Good. Very fragile things. Yeah. And what are they called? Ginger jars. Ginger jars. Yeah. He yeah, this does one. this. He has a um, a YouTube channel that with his um, ceramics. Oh, oh, I yeah. thought he was just posting them on Facebook. So or maybe I thought it was YouTube. Oh, it could be could just be. Facebook. Could be both. I'll have to check it out. Kelly says yes. he's, he's, he's posting stuff all the time. I go, that's cool. I mean, I know this camera is not doing it justice, but the detail in this it's is so crazy. Cool. Like the motorcycle on there. Motorcycle. And then there's and one more. It's, there's, there's a he, she. There's a he, she. And then there's this one and this beautiful guys the de- I'm telling you the that camera's not doing justice the detail that's in I that I know it it and it's very thin hours and hours and are very precious yeah it was wrapped up knew there Tim's coming over there he goes what are you doing so I'm trying to figure out how to get this box open he goes what is that I said it's something sent to me he goes I said it's so probably one of the the viewers or something you know and it goes well, why is it wrapped like that? i said i don't know this is probably something fragile in there you know and he goes well what if it's drugs what if it's a bomb i said tim if <laughs> it's a bomb to the dark side yeah if it's a bomb neither one of us is gonna know it to, to just find it, our remains down here you know i know it <laughs> Donnie, you did an awesome job wrapping them. He had bubble wrap inside, outside, all around it. Yeah. Yeah. Very nicely done. Uh, just gorgeous. Yeah, I guess coming from Texas, you know, that's a long ways to go for something that fragile, yeah. you know. Especially two of them in the one box, you mm-hmm. know. But uh, you did great. You must have uh, shipped a lot of stuff like that. You knew what to do. Yeah. Anyway, Mama, we did our, did our mail call. We, haven't, we did. We haven't been... It's been quiet with that kind of stuff. I'm not saying go crazy soon yeah. and stuff, but no. um, it's nice to do a milk call. We used to do that a yeah. lot, a lot more a long time ago. Yeah, but fun. I think on that, we're gonna bounce on you. Alrighty. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. We really do appreciate it. We will talk to you tomorrow. Same smoke time, same smoke channel. Don't forget to give her a thumbs up. And you guys have an amazing Thursday or Friday. Yeah. I lost a day there. I had All right. <laughs> We'll see you in the morning. We will. Thanks for watching, and thank you very much, Terry and Dunny. Yes. That's some cool stuff. It is. (laughs) We'll see you then. Thanks for watching.